Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abian and in this video I'll be showing you how to do an Anki text-to-speech which will basically make your Anki cards speak out loud to you and they'll sound like this. In diabetic retinopathy, what are the signs of occlusion? Cotton wool spots near vascularization. I've recently started using this feature and it's been amazing which means I can do my Anki cards while I'm cooking or while I'm doing something else or while I'm walking around because the cards are playing out loud to me. So in this video I'll be showing you how to set that up on your Mac and on your iPhone if you have Anki on both of those devices. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you've got the right version of Anki installed otherwise this is not going to work. You need to have Anki 2.1 1.20 if you're using a desktop version on your Mac and if you're using Anki Mobile you need to have version 2.0.56 or higher. Now to check this you want to go on to Anki, click on About Anki and then you can check the version that you have on your Mac. If you're on a lower version, simply just go to the Anki website and you can download the latest version. Do bear in mind that if you're upgrading Anki for the first time, some of your add-ons may not work, so you might want to check before you upgrade to make sure that your add-ons actually work. Now if you're using Anki on a mobile, simply just go to the App Store and update to make sure you're on the latest version, but just to double check what version you're on, you can still go onto your Anki on mobile, click on the settings cogwheel at the top right, and then and where it says about it will show you the version that you're on. Once you've got the suitable version of Anki it's time to move on to step two which is how to actually enable the text-to-speech. For this you need to go into Anki on your Mac, go into your card browser, select a card and then go into where it says cards in order to edit your card style template. Then what you want to do is you want to add this bit of code onto the top of your card template. It's a bit complicated so I'll put it up on the screen to help you out. And then that's for your front style template. For your back you want to replace the colon front with colon back. Once you've done that go ahead and exit out of that and then this is how your card will sound like. In diabetic retinopathy, what are the signs of occlusion? Now you'll notice that actually there'll be a play button and the card will only play once you press the play button. Instead, if you want to play the card automatically, you'll have to follow this next step, which is you have to go onto your decks, click on the settings cog, go on options, and then go on to the general tab and make sure you have the option selected which says automatically play audio. Now what will happen is the audio will play automatically when you go onto your card instead of having to press the play button manually yourself. Now if you've got your cards playing automatically you don't really need the play button there so if you want to hide the play button and make your cards look a bit neater you can do that by following this step which is to go onto your Anki, click on preferences go on to the basic tab and then uncheck the option that says show play buttons on cards with audio which means that it won't show the play button and it will automatically now play the audio for you. If you want to change it so that you can only play the audio when you press the play button then obviously feel free to skip these steps but that's just the way I have it set up on mine. Another thing you might want to do is you might want to change the accent of your voice and the speed of your voice. So in order to do that you want to go back into your card templating options and then in the template where you pasted your code you want to instead paste curly bracket curly bracket TTS dash voices and then colon and then close curly bracket close curly bracket again I'll put it up on the screen so that you can just copy that in what that will do is that will show your available voices on the right hand side of your screen so it will show you the options you have available to select from and then to change your voice you simply have to select one and then paste in the appropriate code as shown on the screen right now so here I've selected the Daniel Apple voice. But you can obviously replace Apple Daniel voice with whatever other options available on that list. And now if you want to change your speed you can also do that. So I've set mine to play a bit faster at 1.3 times speed. So in order to do that you want to add a parameter which says speed equals 1.3. And so now your code will look like this. Make sure you have spaces separating the each sections apart. So it will be your TTS, the space, and then ENGV space your speed, space, and then your voice, and then colon front. So it's a bit complicated, so I'll put the code up on the screen for you to kind of follow. And then obviously you want to do the same thing on the back, except colon back. Now I have different card types, I have basic card types, I also have closed card types. So if you want to make sure this works on your closed cards as well, you it's a bit different, it's a bit tricky the code. So um, you want to go into your browser, go to your note type and select the closed card and then go on to edit the template again. And then these are the pieces of code you want to place in the front and the back of your close option. 
Now for me, I mainly have just basic card types and closed card types, but you might have a few others that you also want this to work on. So to make sure you've covered all your card types, you want to check what card types you have available on Anki. In order to do this, just go onto your Anki, go onto notes and then click on manage note types. And then there you'll see the options of notes you have available. So you wanna make sure that your text to speech code is pasted on each of these different types of cards you want to play on. Okay, and then once you've done this, you simply want to sync your changes up onto the Anki web and feel free to test it out. Once you've synced your changes, this should now work on your phone, on your iPhone as well. But to make sure it plays on your iPhone, you have to make sure that your phone is not on silent so make sure it's on ring and make sure your volumes you know whatever you want it to be and then your cards will start playing automatically like it does on your Mac as well so now you can just chill do your reviews while your card plays out loud and you can do this on your Mac and your phone as well so I hope you found this tutorial useful if you're new to my channel then welcome my name is Abian I'm a medical student studying in London I also have a weekly newsletter called Swift Sunday it's very short and simple so if you want to subscribe then make sure you check the link down in the description below if you're new consider subscribing liking all that stuff as well with that being said thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you again in my next video